Hello everyone and welcome back. In this new lesson we are going to learn how to use Angular to create a custom title and description for each page of our website. So at runtime the common title and description from our index.html will not be used. This can be used for example as a fallback title in case that the page does not have a specific title. Let's then go ahead and change a little bit here the title. Let's change this, for example, to Angular Universal App. And let's also change here the content of the description meta tag. Let's go ahead and delete the existing content. And let's add here, for example, the description Angular Universal Sample Application. So this way, if our page in our application does not have a specific title or description, at least this one from our index.html can still be used. Let's go ahead and save this new file. And because we are running here the server on port 4200, let's go ahead and switch to a larger window, reload our page and confirm that indeed the correct title and description metadata are set on the page. Now let's switch back to our workspace and see how can we create custom titles and descriptions per page. Let's start for example with this page that we see here which corresponds to the home component. Now whenever the user is on this particular component we would like to set the page title to Angular Universal dash all courses. So how can we add a custom title to a given page? We are going to be injecting here on the constructor of the home component a new Angular service that we haven't used before called the title service. This is a core Angular service that we are going to inject here in our constructor. We can now use this service here on ng on init to set the title of the page. Let's go ahead and call here the title service. Let's call set title. And let's set the title in Angular University dash all courses. So this new title should show up here on the browser tab panel as well. Let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to switch here to a larger window and let's go ahead and let's reload our application. So as we can see after the refresh, the title now contains the new value that we have set for the home component. So the home component has been displayed here on the screen, set title was called and we now see here the new title. But from a search engine perspective, the question is how did this title get set and what was the title that we received from our backend? So if we click here on view page source, we are going to see the initial HTML payload that we have received from the server. And as we can see, all that we get here is our index.html file that later on on the client via the script tags has loaded Angular, has loaded our components and took control of the page and generated all the HTML under the application root tag. This means that the original title and description of our application was the values that we have set in our index.html. But at runtime, when the application started up and Angular took control of the page, then the home component was created and only at that moment was the title of the page updated to the new value. So a very important question now is which of the two titles will a search engine take into consideration in order to add to the search results. Will the search engine take the original title that was received on the HTML payload that we received from the server or will the search engine take into consideration the updated title that was updated at runtime via JavaScript when the application was fully started up? Well, the answer is it depends on the search engine. A few years ago, most search engines would simply take the original title from the HTML payload. And this means that only server-side rendered titles were taken into consideration. Titles set at runtime by JavaScript, like it's the case here using Angular, were then ignored by most search engines, except the Google search engine. The Google search engine, since several years, has taken into consideration this JavaScript runtime updates to the title and to the meta tags. Now, nowadays, most of the commonly used search engines 
all take into account uh, JavaScript changes at runtime. So most search engines are going to take the dynamic title that was set by Angular after the application has been started up. However, there are still a couple of uh, important search engines that still don't process the runtime value of the title and meta description tags. So if we want to do search engine optimization for those particular search engines, then we need to server-side render our title. For most other cases, including the Google search engine, this is not necessary anymore. So I want you to be aware of that. Now let's go ahead and see how can we server-side render our title and compare it to the situation that we had here where we got the original title from index.html on the initial payload. Let's go ahead and switch to our workspace and here on the terminal, instead of running here npm start, we are going to now start our application with server-side rendering activated. So if we check here our package.json, we are going to see that we have here the multiple scripts for Angular Universal, one of them being npm run dev SSR, which stands for server-side rendering. This is going to start our Angular Universal server in hot reload mode. After a moment, the server is going to be up and running. So let's go ahead and switch to a larger window and compare the behavior of the Angular Universal application with the behavior of the plain Angular single page application. Let's go ahead and refresh here our page and confirm that the new title is still set here on the page as expected. This was set by the client side application at runtime after the application has started up. The question is now, what do we get from the server with this Angular Universal application? If we click here on view page source, we are going to see that this time around, we get a fully server-side rendered version of the application, which includes not only the correct title and description, but also all the HTML needed to display some content to the user. So if we search here for the body tag, we can see that we get here a lot of HTML as usual. Scrolling back here to the head tag, we can see that the headers of our page, title and meta tags are server side rendered as expected. So this new version of our application, which is being server side rendered on the fly, is now search engine friendly. So this new version is going to get correctly indexed by any search engine, not only the most modern search engines that already take into consideration runtime generated JavaScript content. Let's now go back to our workspace and see how can we continue to customize the titles and descriptions of our application.